Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on what I call maybe like uh, a collector car video. And you say, well, Tone, how do you know when is a collector car video and when is just a cool video? And I say, you know what? That's a great question. Let me answer that for you if I could, please. So think about this. A collector car is a low production car. It's a car that has low mileage. It's preserved in its like original kind of state. And it's just really a special, special car. And not that we don't have a lot of special cars here, but some are collector cars, and here's why I say that. This car here, it's 40th anniversary edition, right? Uh, 40 years after the first one was built, they built these as a commemorative. And then now this is 2024, and it's 31 years later, right? This car's 31 years old. Look at the condition and the preservation of this car. This was somebody's garage queen, driven uh, once in a great while, 635 miles a year is what it averages out to 600 miles a year which is insane to think that you're only going to drive this set once in a while i love this color combination they were spot on when they did it this is loaded with oh so many options and things like that we're going to spend some time walking around and if you haven't driven one of these with a six speed these cars are wicked fast they are super fast and we forget how light these are most people see corvettes and they say well they must be heavier than a camaro no it's a complete opposite these cars are much lighter than a camaro Arrow. That's why they're so fast and they always put the most powerful engines in them. So let's take a minute. We're going to walk around and check that out. These cars are different and they're different because of the color combination of the paint, right? That anniversary paint is spectacular. Ruby red metallic. At night, it gets really like this uh, close to black, but you can tell it's not black, but in the sunlight, it is spectacular. And even under these LED lights here, super nice, right? Uh, and then you need to ask yourself the question of the quality of the paint 30 years later, because pictures can make anything look really great. In this case here, I like to do the video and I like to do my little test here, just so you can see. And when I say the test, not that you can see the letter in this advertisement right here that we have, but you can actually see how crisp each and every one is. The crisper the letter, the more defined it is, the better the paint. And this is factory paint, so check this out. Super nice in there. Look at that. You can really see it. All right, so a lot of our clients just love cars and they're maybe not even going to go to a car show or really care about what's going on under the under hood. And I'm totally cool with that. Like I dig cars too. And maybe I don't know every single thing about every car I've ever built. But in this case here, if you wanted to go to a car show or you wanted to show your friends under the hood of this car, it just looks really, really nice. And I want to share with you what I mean by that. Okay. When I'm getting back to my collector car status, I'm talking about things like this. Original decals and stickers all in the same place here. These low mileage garage kept show cars, right? Have all of this in here. You might want to clean a little bit. Uh, there's my tiny little bit of dust there, but this will give you something if you wanted to detail under the hood just a tiny bit. But every, other than that, here, I'm opening it here so you can see. I love being able to see all of the suspension and the wheels and tires. So one of the things I like to do too is I'll give you a small tip when you're buying a car. When I'm buying a car, the first thing I look at, and what is, I don't know what the first thing you look at is, what is that? Okay, that's your, that's good. The first thing I look at are the tires. You say, Tom, what do you care about tires? Well, here's what I care about tires. If somebody's buying a car and they're flipping the car and they just want to sell it, they're going to put the cheapest tire that they can on there, right? Nothing wrong with Chinese tires, but that's a cheap tire, not known for its great durability, strength, and, and quality. If I own a car and it's my baby and I want it to be uh, the best I can have, I'm buying the best tire I can have. I'm not saying I'm going to overspend on tires, but I'm going to put a great set of tires on here. And that's exactly what we have here. Fresh set of Continentals. Matter of fact, you can even see uh, the letters are still at the top of uh, of the tire there is how little they've actually been used, of course, because you can see because it's super low miles. Anyway, that's just my little tip there for uh, checking out a car once in a while. And also, too, this is, looks great. All right, what I do love about Corvettes in general is that everybody knows what this car is. It doesn't need to have a sticker on it, right? It doesn't need to have anything on it. You automatically know that this is not a Caprice, right? Or an Astro van or anything like that. You know right away this is a Corvette. This is that great styling. We're at the end of the run of these cars. Uh, and you get that great sounding exhaust. Also, the car is very functional. For instance, right now we have the clear top that's in there. It's a tinted top instead of the painted top. And then you can also throw some soft off luggage in there you can go away for the weekend it's really a fully functional like sports car and that's exactly what they hoped it would be 
All right, so you're walking up to your cool car. Maybe it's a Friday afternoon. You drove it to work. It's 4 o'clock. You, you know what? I'm going to split a little early this time. I don't normally leave early, but I'm going to leave early. You walk up. You go, man, this is a great-looking car. And then you go to get in the car. And this is what I mean when I say, like, like, these are a little bit like therapy. For instance, you get in, and this seat is just... So good, so good with so many adjustments, these sports seats, right? And then an array of gauges, <coughs> 6,000 RPM tack, 200 mile an hour speedometer. These cars had virtually every option you could get from the factory. Upgraded audio, the climate control, but everything in here is so nice and brand new looking. Like all of the decals and everything are bright and orange and the sticker is still on the dash here. It says the analog gauges are not uh, linear devices. Please see owner's manual. Like that original kind of stuff is still in here, which is pretty cool. You got the six speed. And then you say, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Turn off the phone. Actually call first. Say, listen, I'm on the way and shut off the feed. And what I mean by the feed is I say the Twitter feed, the boss feed, the significant other feed, every feed coming in, all that minutia in your life, man. This car makes a great sound. It's got great power. It's rumbling down the road. You got this top is off, right? The best of both worlds. You got the safety of a coupe, but like the openness of a convertible and then the interior is so nice looking. I'm just telling you, man, this is a game changer. So I'm smiling right now when I think about driving it. All right, so we close up this video. We talked about a lot of stuff, but what we didn't talk about is this. While this is a collector car and we've been watching them go up in value, which is a side benefit of all of what we do here, but the real benefit is the driving experience. The smile that you get, getting in something like this, knowing you have a cool car, taking care of this low mileage, amazing, amazing car. Uh, when you think about it, that we're you know, 71 years or however many years we just came up with uh, from, the, from the original one, right? That's a long time ago. This is a beautiful, beautiful example. Anyway, six speed, V8 power, loaded with all the luxury stuff as well, like power windows and the tilt wheel and the climate control and the upgraded audio, like all that stuff comes with it. It's got the transparent top here as well, which looks nice on the car. I don't know. It's just a great car, and we need to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. If you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below there. It helps get the message out. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, too. We have new stuff coming out all the time, and I'll see you on the next one.